I'm Jimmy Chang, and we're here to talk about the rule for converting a mixed number into a fraction. Now, it's a very straightforward process, so uh, as long as you understand these steps, you'll be good to go. Now, suppose you have 3 and 5 sevenths, and you want to convert that to a fraction, an improper fraction to be more specific. Now, here's the process. Now, always take the denominator, and you always multiply by the whole number that's next to it. So 7 multiplied by the 3. And after that, you want to add to the numerator. You always got to do this. Now, with order of operations, the multiplication always comes first, and the addition is last. So 7 times 3, and you know is 21, and then 21 plus 5 is going to be 26. Now, what you do, though, is you keep the denominator as is, so you have 26 over 7. But let's do another illustration, though, to kind of drive this point home. If you have negative 2 and 5 sixth as an illustration, exact same idea. Take the denominator, multiply by the whole number, so 6 times 2, which is 12, and then add the 5. So 6 times 2 is 12, add the 5 is 17. So you have 17, and then always keep the denominator, which is 6, but remember, the original number is negative, so I'm keeping the negative as is. So denominator, multiply by the whole number, add the numerator, and you should be good to go. So I'm Jimmy Chang, and that's the rule for converting a mixed number into a fraction.